great night, senior night. Um, really proud of you know the way the team responded. Uh, the, proud of you know the whole team wanting those seniors to go out on top. And for uh, you know Tyler Luce, who's the most unheralded of the group, you know for him to have the opportunity to get out there and start. You know, I thought that was, uh, you know, that was the best thing that we could have done for him because he's a guy behind the scenes that does everything at the highest level. I mean, if there's the, you know, the example, the perfect example of a student athlete, it's Tyler Luce. I mean, a guy that, you know, regardless of what you ask him to do, he's going to do. A guy that's a 4-0 student off the court, a guy that's about all the right things. And so um, when, you, when you start sometimes on senior night, a different lineup, it disrupts your rhythm a little bit. I thought our rhythm was off the first, you know, 10 minutes of that game. But over the course of the game, our guys, you know, kind of dug in, got a rhythm, and then the second half, I thought we did a really good job of, of understanding how to attack them offensively. We knew that, you know, we could get shots if we were patient, and you know, Dre came out there and really was, you know, a one-man wrecking crew. And then for Anthony Johnson to really step up the last two games, I mean, now in the last two games, I think he was four for eight, five for nine. Um, you know, he's he's going to help us at the right times, and that's something I've been talking to him about at nauseum is that, hey, you're going to help this team when it really matters. If you just stay the course, don't put your head down. And at no point has he really put his head down. Um, when it's very easy as a fifth year senior who's had the success that he's had to you know, start feeling sorry for himself. But he's a guy that I really believe is going to help us win some games here down the stretch. And then Tanner Morgan, the other senior, you know, sometimes you know, what you see in the stat sheet doesn't show up in terms of the impact he makes on the game, in terms of a guy that can really get to the ball screen help create advantages for those guards, a guy that's uh, you know, in position down there, whether that's ducking a big when those guys are driving and they're driving the ducks. So there's a lot of little things that Tanner does that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. He's going to be a guy that, you know, even though you see the points that those other guys score, I mean, we're really going to miss Tanner and Tyler next year as well. I mean, just in terms of what they bring in the locker room, what they bring with their leadership, and what they say every day, um, because it's not about scoring for them, it's about the team. And that, and that goes with all these guys, and I think that's where you know, hopefully, even though it's the last home game, you know, the city of Greeley could see that you know, this is a team that they can rally behind, a team that uh, plays for one another, a team that plays hard, plays the right way. And uh, hopefully we can just continue to ride, uh, you know, ride this. I think we're playing th right at the right time, and we've got to keep, uh, keep making our way forward. Talk about the two games in a row winning. How does that help you go into North Dakota than making the West Coast trip? You know, I mean, I think you know we've been preparing for this since you know the start of the season. I mean, we've we've done a good job of of not over practicing, doing a good job of making sure guys you know get the right amount of rest. Because ultimately, in this league, it's how you're playing now until early March, and so. You know, we don't want to beat our guys up. You know, we want to make sure that they're fresh. And I think our guys are in a good place right now in terms of their health. I think they're in a good place mentally. And I think, you know, we're playing pretty darn, pretty darn well.